Welcome back for day seven of Easter. <laughs> We're so glad you joined us again today. Seven. Xander's going to be opening our egg today for day seven. What it is, is it, Xander? It's a crown that has thorns on it. Thorns? Thorns. I better show them. Take it up front of the camera and show them. And they put Jesus on Jesus' head when, when they, um, they put him on the head. They put him on. Why they put him. Let them see it. They can't see it. Yeah. Remember, the camera's up near the left corner. There you go. Almost looks like a ring when it's small like that. Yeah, turn it that way so they can see it. Matthew 27, 27 through 29 says, the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gave the whole battalion before him and they strapped, they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and twisted together a crown of thorns. They put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand and kneeling before him, they mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews! That's not very nice, is it? The H one? No. No, like, uh, hail means like, um, uh, it, it's what you would say to someone that was in high authority or, you know, you know, hail. It's like a, it's a term of respect and praise. But here they're using it sarcastically. They're being mean about it, you know. So kind of like saying, you ever had one of your friends say, good job, but you really didn't do a good job. You messed up. It's kind of like how they're using it. You never had nobody do that? I have. Yes, I have. Yes, you have? All right. That's kind of how the soldiers are using hail to Jesus right there. All right. After Jesus had been whipped, the soldiers took branches and thorns and twisted them in the shape of a crown and shoved it down in his head. And those thorns went through his skin and into his crown and his bones on his head. Ooh. That hurt, wouldn't it? That would hurt. And it would we be know that what? And it would be disgusting because blood would be <laughs> it would right be down good. your face. It would. That's correct. We know that because Jesus was the Son of God, he could have stopped these men from hurting him, but he let them do it. Why did he let them do it? Do you know? Why did he let? Why did he let them hurt him like that? Whip him and put that crown on him and all that. We don't know. Because even though he hadn't done anything wrong and he had not sinned, Jesus was taking the punishment for all the wrong things that all of us have done. What about that, huh? And that includes the whole, he was uh, taking the sin for all humanity. That includes you and me and everybody watching this. So let's, sh let's show the picture Asher, here. go ahead and show the picture. Show the picture, Asher. Of the soldiers making fun of Jesus and putting the crown of thorns on him. You see that? That's sad. That's sad. That makes my heart sad. All right, come on back. This all the ones so far. We've had several that are sad in a row, haven't we? All right, let's pray. Lord, thank you for the fact that you died for our sins, that you let us, you let these soldiers, and that you have taken our sin away from us. You you let them beat you and put the crown of thorns on you because we deserve that and you did it for us. Thank you for saving us and taking our punishment. In your name we pray. Amen. Join right. us tomorrow for day eight of Easter. Hooray.